Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun Tech Review. Doing another video today. Today's video, if you have the Google Pixel 4 XL or even the Google Pixel 4, I'm going to give you some tips on how to improve your battery life. But before I do that, check this out. Okay everyone, so you got the Pixel 4 XL or the Google Pixel 4. These steps I'm about to show you should improve your battery life, hopefully. I have five different tips that I will give to you in this video. So it's gonna be like just a quick tip video. Hopefully I don't make it too long and we can definitely get to the points really quick. Now if you do something different that I don't mention in here that helps you out with your battery life, let me know. We can definitely have a discussion in the comments. I love learning from my subscribers and the viewers of my videos. Now let's get into it. The first thing I recommend doing is turning off Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. I never use it as far as I don't need my phone to be scanning for Wi-Fi all the time. So let's get into it. It's quite easy to do. So you just want to go into your settings really quick here. Make sure it's focused. If you actually search your settings, you just type in Wi-Fi. And if you go down, you can see Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. As you can tell, I have it turned off already. So you just want to make sure you turn those off. And that was tip number one. It's easy and simple to do. Also, with the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL, they did the motion sensor on here. And I want to show you another way to save some battery. Because every time you have your phone down, you reach for it, it tries to unlock the phone. So even if you are by your phone and you're not trying to unlock it, it will still try to do it. It wastes some uh, energy on it. So what you want to do is go into your settings again. You can go into display. You go into advance. What you want to do is lock screen display. On the screen here at the bottom, it says reach to check for phone. Let me make sure my phone is focused. I have it turned off. So if you turn it on, it will try to break your phone up, check your time. You can actually turn that off. And then what I do turn on is lift to check phone. So you just lift it up. It has the same motions. It has the same ideas. It works the same. For example, you have your phone down, you wave at it. It won't try to wake up. But if you pick it up, look at it, you unlock your phone. That actually helps. It saves a lot of battery. But if you want to check it again, you wave at it, it doesn't work. Lift at it, bam. And I'm behind the camera too, and the face unlock actually worked pretty good. So that was tip number two. Again, pretty simple to do. Just make sure you go into the settings and turn it off. Okay, so the third thing that you want to do right now is you can see my screen right now. It's pretty much dark. I have that theme on there where you can actually pretty much make dark themes everywhere with the Pixel 4 and the XL. It's actually easy to do, and I recommend doing it anyway. So you go into your settings. You go back to display and it's right there. Dark theme, you actually just turn that on. I mean, on. Bam, look, it's off and then you just turn it on. Everything, that actually helps out with the battery of life a lot. Just makes it run a lot less and it works really good. All right, so one tip you can always do too, the Google Pixel 4 and the 4XL come with the 90 hertz screen, but you can actually turn that off if you want to. And as a quick way of doing it, now I don't always turn that off. Maybe if I say I'm running low at 20%, 25%, I might turn it off. The way you want to do that is go back into your display. You can go back into advanced settings here. Let's see, let me get my focus. If you go all the way down to smooth display, you can turn that off and it will save you some battery life. It's not a big deal at 60 frames. It's still actually pretty smooth, but you can definitely save uh, some battery life by turning it off if you want to. Okay, so the last step that I'm gonna show you, the last tip that I have is turning off your digital well-being app and collecting that data. Yes, because that's running in the background. It will drain your battery life. Do you really look at that data anyway? I don't. I know it tracks like how many times you unlock your phone, what apps you use, how, how long you was on the phone for. I don't really care about knowing about it. 
and you can turn it off. Now I might have it off already, but let's go into my settings. You go all the way down to digital well-being and parent control. Then you want to hit these three little icons here. Turn on uses access. You hit open settings. All right, so you can tell right here that I actually have it turned off. It says not allowed. The digital well-being. All you want to do is click on there. You hit permit usage access and you turn it off. So normally it's on and you just come in here, turn it off and that will save some battery life for you also. Now I hope all these tips in here actually helps you out. Again, if you use something different or you do something different with your phone, let me know in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. If this video helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so for more coverage on the Pixel 4 XL. Again, this will work for the Pixel 4 also. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forza Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day now.